so, um, yet again, another series. Um, I wanted to talk about gods. One thing we don't talk about much about, there's not that many videos about gods, at least specific gods or specific types of gods here on YouTube. But I wanted to talk about types of gods that we can bring into our ritual practice, or just bring into our prayers, into our thoughts, into um, our actions, because, you know, uh, our gods are archetypes of nature, and, you know, if we um, embody those archetypes, um, we can go far with that and um, become more like that archetype, and that's the idea, right? So, um, I wanted to talk about gods of healing. I watched a video today um, about um, by Night Seeking Bear. And it really kind of touched my heart. I'm, my thoughts and prayers go out to him. And if you're looking for God to call on for healing, there are several to choose from. Um, from like uh, the the Norse Germanic um, traditions, there are several. Of course, there's the mother goddess Frigg or Frigga. Um, there's also Ir, who's the goddess of medicine. Um, then, um, from the Greek, there's Apollo, and there's also Asclepius, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, who's the god of medicine. Um, there are, there are several healing totems as well from the Native American tradition. Um, there's the buffalo, and, um, I, there's, uh, the one that I call on mostly is the otter, because it's very much a jovial kind of brightening your day energy as well. Otters are just fun animals. Um, <laughs> And then, um, you know, there's there's others from around, of course, the one that most people will probably come to mind would be Brigid or Breed um, from the Celtic tradition. And she's also a very powerful healing goddess. Um, and so um, one, one of my ritual techniques, and when I get to, um, I'm just about to, to move, so I'm probably going to be doing that at my new residence. Um, but when I do my um, erecting the temple, um, one of the techniques that I use for erecting the temple is calling gods from each, um, you know, guardian point or corner or direction, uh, whichever you choose, for um, for the type of ritual that I'm trying to do. So if I'm trying to do a healing ritual, I would call Brigid for fire, and I would call, you know, um, Ear probably for, for air, um, and uh, for for water I would call the otter. And uh, for for uh, North, um, there's several different um, gods, but I would probably call on Apollo. And um, there you have your four elements and your four gods for healing. And so I just think that it's one um, well, it's one way to start a ritual if you're trying to do a healing ritual and stuff like that. Um, and uh, you know. Those are just some, some examples of healing gods um, that you may be interested in. Um, if you're interested in studying gods and things like that, there's this great book. And it is Encyclopedia of Gods. Um, it's a really great book. Um, it's written by a guy named Michael Jordan, no relation. And um, it's probably one of the best books on gods that I've ever seen. There's also a website called godchecker.com that you can check out. It's not as good as the book, but um, it's, a good, it's another good resource on gods. Bless me.